from beautiful North Hollywood, California, it's Flashback Tonight, starring Delius. Tonight, from the longest-running number one soap, The Young and the Restless, Tracy Bregman is here. Okay. We are going to play a game with Tracy called, Has This Ever Happened to You? <laughs> right? Has this ever happened to you? And these are the craziest soap storylines that should possibly never happen in real life, but maybe they have. We don't know. Okay. So this is, has this ever happened to you? <laughs> With Tracy that Bregman. Say that? I like it. <laughs> you can go for it. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tracy. Have you ever been to the Olympics and won a gold medal only to be robbed at gunpoint without getting justice? <laughs> And had to run back to the States to be on Dance with the Stars before you found out you were lying. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? I cannot believe you just explained my whole summer. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened to me. This is amazing. <laughs> Clearly not. Okay. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever been tied up with duct tape at gunpoint in a Paris hotel room? And if so... <laughs> Too soon? Kim. Too soon? And All if right, so, Kim. would you give up your jewels or your cell phone? My jewels or my cell phone? Ooh, it's tough, huh? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think she gave up somebody else's jewels, most likely, right? <laughs> easier, easier. I like that. Easier. You went to a dark place. You went to a dark place. <laughs> no, I meant that, you know, people give her jewelry, and right? That she, that, and that she doesn't own them. <laughs> she doesn't own them. Those jewels. Oh. But I, get, I really get where you're headed. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon? That was my favorite line. Too soon? <laughs> Have you ever slept with your husband's best friend who later turned out to be his long lost brother? <laughs> and you liked him better? Shockingly, no. No? No. Shocking twist. That has happened on a few. Soap operas. Probably in life, too. Well, this is a long one. In life, too? Good, good. Okay. See if this has happened in life. All right. Have you ever been comatose, woke up to find out you were pregnant by the hospital janitor, who later turned out to be your long-lost stepbrother, who left to join the Merchant Marines because your mother put him up for adoption because she, too, found herself pregnant by a hospital worker? <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> what show is that? <laughs> Do you know? It's Who wrote happened? that? Uh, it's happened. It's happened. Are you allowed to swear on this show? I'm you can. To... Because did you ever see Galaxy Quest? Yes. yes. And uh, Sigourney Weaver has to run through, and they and Tim Allen, and they, ha they have to recreate the episodes that were like soap operas and they were Star Trek. Uh -huh. And one of my favorite lines of the whole thing is the recreating one of the episodes that this writer wrote. And she's like, who wrote this shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, right? you're prepared to say that a lot because there's some more. <laughs> Matter of fact, that should be your answer for everything. Don't worry. <laughs> that should be I your answer <laughs> and do it with different inflections each time. Okay. Like a soap opera oh, okay. actress, you know what I'm saying? Happy, so, sad, angry. Okay, so would you like the emphasis on the wrong syllable? Or? There we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let, let, let's try one, shall we? Okay. Has your mother ever been your father? <laughs> Who wrote this shit? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've sort of answered this one, but I want to hear the, the inflection on this one. Have you ever had kids that age 10 years every seven days like on Young and the Restless? <laughs> Who wrote this shit? <laughs> I wrote it. I wrote it. I wrote it. Nobody better take credit for that one. <laughs> um, have you ever been impregnated by a doll who's come to life and then tried to take the child and the child wanted to go? Oh, really? Who wrote this shit? <laughs> okay, law of comedy is it's only funny three times. Right. So we gotta move on. We only got one more here. And these are actually really storylines story on different soaps. So you're, you're laughing, but it's actually happened on soaps. 
That is truly amazing. <laughs> Are those still on the air? I, no. no. <laughs> okay. See? They are not still on the air. That's right. why the Young and the Restless is still on the air. Well, we did have one on your list. Oh, yeah, the kids. The kids yeah, the right. kids will go up the stairs yeah. and come down. That's there, all right. That people. happens. <laughs> all right, last one. All right. Have you ever had an unrequited love for an orangutan named Bam Bam? That has happened. Has that ever happened to you? It's the orangutan where I went to the left. <laughs> everything else, I was good. Uh, no. No, no. Nothing with a monkey. Can you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing with a monkey? No. I got jokes too, but I that would go. I'm going, I'm going to a dark place with monkeys. Now, and that's hard to be funny with. Not for me. Not really for me, no? I've got a bunch of monkey jokes. I've, I've Bring them on. <laughs> Bring them on. I've been bad to monkeys. Really? <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Maybe one got in my way and I had to choke him. Or <laughs> maybe <laughs> I'm playing. Let me stop. I'm going to a bad place. <laughs> um, and that last one was actually from, can you guess which soap opera that was from? No, I really can't. Passions. Oh, God, of course. It was actually really of on course. Passions. All right, you guys. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I want to thank you. Fun. Wasn't it fun? Yes. This was a pain, painless, right? You said painful. I said this was a painful, right? This was so painful. <laughs> right. For me. No, man. Um, thank you for being here. I am truly a huge fan of The Young and the Restless. Anyone who knows me knows that, you know, I have to set my timer if I'm not at home to watch Young and the Restless in the morning. My parents have been the same way, and my sister. Not my brother who's here. He doesn't want to get into that, but uh, we fight. If The Young and the Restless came on during a football game, it'd be a... It'd be a big fight. So, <laughs> thank you for being here. And you're going to come visit me in Genoa City? Y'all heard that? Yes. I am going to Genoa City. I may get kicked out of the city by the time it's over, but I am definitely coming. That'd be a thrill for me. Perfect. Put your hands together for Tracy Bregman. Thank you.